Well, here we are again. It is really cold today. It was actually snowing this morning when we got here. We're gonna try to get all the shingles on today. And if we get lucky and get all the shingles on today, we may get some siding on today as well. And I'm gonna do some demo because I have another roof to frame up to make this thing watertight. Let's go check it out. Okay, Matt's doing his salesman stuff. Braden and I are getting ready to bend up a bunch of these pieces of step flashing so that we don't have to worry about bending it up while we're 20 something feet in the air. Um, all we're basically gonna end up doing with this step flashing is taking it from big flat piece, metal, nothing fancy. And we're gonna throw this extra bend on the top up here so that we can tuck back into the rock and then caulk down the top of it later. But he got sidetracked on a phone call. So Braden and I are gonna do this real fast. And there you have it. You got to see the pile disappear and we made a new pile. We have all our little half inch bins on everything. Now we're gonna go put it on the roof, but Matt's gonna give you guys a look at the top of the kill room so you can see what he's got going on over there. But we'll be back with you guys shortly afterward. All right, Ryan and Braden are on the other side shingling. This roof has to be demoed and framed back. So I'm going to demo this roof and figure out a way to frame it because i'm pretty sure those horizontal two inch thick rock right there i want to get above those because i believe that's a leak path so we're going to make this roof a little bit steeper it'll attach to the icf it will attach to the castle and then i'll have a small gable end to frame up that we can close cell foam later so i'm going to be demoing this but you guys are going to be over there while they're rocking out on shingles because Ryan's got some step flashing to do. I think he's already explained to you guys how he's bending it up and why he's bending it that way. But I'd like for you guys to see it installed and I'll get you an update on this roof here in a little while. All right, Braden and I are going to start laying some more shingles. And then we'll get over to that point somewhere up in there. And we'll be ready to start our step flashing and let you guys see that too. Put you on time lapse. Here we go.
Okay, so now's where our step flashing is going to come into effect. I've got to trim a little bit off of this rock right here because as you can tell, it's sticking out too far. I'm gonna slice a notch into the wall at that line where this will sit back tight and tuck into that rock. We're overhanging about a quarter inch or better there so that if any water does get onto this flashing, it runs down and out and not down and under. We're gonna put you back on time lapse and we're gonna continue this process all the way up to there. Stay tuned, folks. It's about to get weird.
if we could ever get this guy to be quiet i swear all right so as you saw in the last clip we've got blackjack under here sealing that down blackjack under here sealing this part of the shingle down we've got a couple more pieces of step flashing to run there and then we're back over there running more shingles but a little birdie told me that he's ready to do some pretty uh pretty heavy lifting over on the kill room roof so we're going to pass you guys over to him I'm sure you couldn't hear that. <laughs> but Matt's waiting inside. We'll send you guys in here. Okay, we got one heck of a mess in here, but I can see outside now. Whew, boy, was that a pain in the butt. But I'm getting ready to cut down that side. I need to trim those boards off a little bit more. I don't think I want to have to saws all through those. But I've got everything loose. So what I'm going to try is to cut down with the saws all while standing on that shelf to push this piece of plywood up and out. Cause all it is is uh, shingles and half inch plywood. So I don't think I'll hurt my metal roof and I've already got all my wood scraps down there. So it's kind of honestly protecting it. And I just thought maybe you guys would enjoy that. And it's gonna be interesting cause uh, I can't really fit anything else in here to do this. So I gotta use a bookshelf and these steps to get that cut. Well, let's see what happens. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see how this goes. Whoops. Had my blade set too shallow. That's my fault. Hey, hey. Woo. My bookshelf ain't the sturdiest thing, but we got the job done. 
get back here to safe zone. Now I can get an actual ladder in here and finish demoing this out. Well, we got her demoed. Got nothing but an opening now. And I've got some woodwork I can frame off of and still be able to uh, screw a board because these go all the way through. So I can build my gable end right off of that outside two by four, attach it to that two by four and still set on concrete. I will have to tap kind of board down there. But luckily the blocks are core filled which is a great thing. So I can tap con pretty much anywhere. So I need to make sure my board stays close to level. I'm gonna keep the pitch the same direction, but I believe this is a leak path for me. So I'm gonna try to go from this elevation. I can't get this out. I don't know if he's got screws or bolts or something in the mortar through that. I'll have to cut that off later when we go to finish this, but I think I want to get my roof line up here so that I can get over top of this and mitigate that water catch that you can see there. Yes, I could knock the grout off of that, but I still feel like these may absorb a little bit of water where everything else is a vertical face instead of a horizontal face. So I'm going to try to get my board up there as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be erratic with the rock as long as I have enough points to tap con my board off to. And then I'll run the pitch this direction, put my bird's mouth and my overhang down here, and I'll have a nice board down here to put hurricane clips on because the wind does come from this direction. So I gotta, gotta make sure this is fastened really well. But that's demoed, now it's lunchtime. The boys are still on the other side putting the roof on. I'm gonna go grab everybody some lunch and we'll be back. Okay, so now that Matt is running to get lunch and making his phone calls and doing all the stuff that you know the boss has got to do. Me and Braden are going to finish running these few runs of shingles back out across our roof here, and then we'll be doing some step flashing over there again. Here we go.
Braden's got the air on, blowing off some dust. We got the roof done. Now we got to tie into the castle right here. It's all cut pieces all the way to the top right there, and I got to cut the step slicing in as we go. So this is going to be a little bit slower going right here, but we're going to try to get you guys back here where you can see what's going on too. So stay tuned. Okay, so what you see here is our last little bit that we're doing, tying up into the back there. Got a few more. So, 
We've got just a few more shingles put on here, three to be exact. Yeah, a few more pieces of step flashing, and then I'm going to end up coming back with that air wand and blowing all of the dust out of that mess so that I can use our through the roof product. It's a elastomeric type of caulking that will never get hard. It just turns into about a bubblegum substance. And yeah, get that all caulked in and sealed up real good for Matt while he's over working on the kill room roof right now. So we're going to put you on time lapse, let you see what we got doing to finish up here. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, there we have it. Step flashed all the way up in the top corner. Braden, good job. I'm gonna drop him off so he can go help Matt. And I'm gonna come back up here and caulk and I'm gonna send the, uh, I'm gonna take the elastomeric right along this line here. So here we go. I'm gonna send the camera with Braden. I'm gonna put some caulking on the wall. This side will be done. Okay, I know you guys have been hanging out with Ryan and Braden. We got our seal plate on the bottom. And we're putting our skirt board, rim joist, whatever you want to call it, which is multiple pieces because this tower is not straight at all. We've got uh, two more holes to hammer drill, and then we're going to run one board long, and we'll create our overhang later when we start putting rafters on.
All right. Can you hear me now? Hopefully the it's really freaking cold. The camera doesn't like it. I was gonna frame from that point to that point, but it doesn't match my top roof. And I really didn't like the way it looked. So we're gonna back up and punt. And we're gonna build a knee wall here over and then a gable end here because that is our 512 pitch which matches that roof line and it looks way better so we're going to tempt this in with house wrap to make the watershed but that's today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always like comment subscribe turn your notifications on share the video <sighs> and don't forget follow me <laughs> <laughs> and look up ryan pfeiffer on the internet that's what he's saying but he was scared to say it i'm not scared to say it you'll find some two for sure really good songs yep. on two really good songs check them out good luck spelling my name